names. I was shitting myself about being bullied when I went to school. My mother pulled me to one side and she said this. She said, you listen to me, Greg Davis. The bullies, yeah? They can take your sweets. They can take you. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea why my mum sounds like a camp man. <laughs> I can take your sweets. <laughs> she, said, she was wearing a ruffled shirt. She said, they can take your sweets. <laughs> they can take your dinner money. They can take your clothes. Which was a strange one. <laughs> so, but I'll tell you what they can't take off you, Greg Davis. They can never take your name. We gave you that. No one can take your name off you. That's yours forever. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that, of course, is horseshit, isn't it? <laughs> As I think I've already proved with Fat Chan. <laughs> Children can take your name in a heartbeat with no reason. With no reason. And I can prove it. I've prepared some for you. These are all genuine nicknames from my year group at school. Not even my whole school. This is my year group. They're all real. Feast your eyes on these. <laughs> I've not made any of them up. Do you tell me how fair you think they are? <laughs> Bat back, boy in my year. Uh, I'll throw this in for you, a bit of side fun. He was round at my mum's house a couple of weeks ago, fitting a new shower. <laughs> Badback was called Badback for five school years because on one day he had a bad back. <laughs> it wasn't a reoccurring injury. He came in one day, well, I've got a bit of a bad back today, lads. We went, right, well, that's you fucked for five years, lovely. <laughs> Polly, slightly more sinister, he had a nasty burn down one of his arms. Um, it would appear on that occasion, Polly put the kettle on his arm, so that's... <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Spunk Eye, a.k.a. Popeye. <laughs> Two nicknames, one boy, Stephen Jenkins. Let me tell you how Stephen got both of those nicknames using only the facts, because I was there. This is what happened, ready? Stephen Jenkins was in a science lesson. He rubbed his eye it went a little bit red. <laughs> there are no more facts associated with either of those names. <laughs> Within 24 hours, everyone was calling him Popeye because the rumour went round that he'd rubbed his eye so hard it had popped out onto his cheek <laughs> and he chased everyone round like a Doctor Who monster, a work of fiction, right? <laughs> then someone overheard him in the corridor say, I quite like the nickname uh, Popeye, and a whole school year went, well, that's not fucking happening. <laughs> so a new rumour went round that we all believed that Stephen Jenkins was in a science lesson power wanking. <laughs> and the jet of teenage spunk that flew out of the end of his cannon-like penis knocked his eye out of his head. <laughs> and he flew out of a window and into the playground, a total work of fiction. Nice short one, this. He was a boy called Kevin. He had long hair. Lovely. <laughs> this is my favourite, Baghdad. I still know this man, David. He's a friend of mine. He's still called Baghdad. He's 43 years of age. He is the father of three. He has his own business. He got it age 11, and you might be thinking, well, maybe it was some clever connection with the Middle East, was it, Greg? Maybe that's why David got the name Baghdad. Isn't that clever? No. David was called Baghdad after the first summer of school because he came in with a new bag. <laughs> that he informed us had been bought for him <laughs> by his dad. <laughs> His kids call him Baghdad. <laughs> um, so I've been kind of gathering nicknames on my tour so far. My favourite audience suggestions are as follows. That one made me laugh. That one pleased me. 
And this last one, I think, is the greatest nickname of all time. <laughs> Arrogant statement, but I'll prove it in a minute. Before I do, do you want to add to it? Can you remember anyone from your year who had a nickname they didn't deserve that you want to stick up on the board? <laughs> that is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are, but th that work is... <laughs> I should probably share this joke with everybody else. <laughs> Tabletop was my nickname. Um... <laughs> very nice, very nice. Yeah, when I was at primary school, I threw a girl's pencil across the classroom and uh, the headmaster was just coming in and he saw me and he grabbed me and put me on top of a table uh, where I pissed all over everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Sheer fear, so thanks for that. <laughs> fish fingers? Uh, why were they called fish fingers? Because you said that she used to finger herself in class. <laughs> Good enough. Any others? Toblerone boots. Sorry? Toblerone boots. Oh, this is fucking immense already. <laughs> Toblerone boots. Why was he called Toblerone boots? So whenever he played football, you never knew where he was going to kick it. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Toblerone boots. Any others? He had others? a mate. Hey? He had a mate. He had a mate? 50p head. Same reason. 50p head? <laughs> Reason. <laughs> oh, amazing. Saki. Why? Saki's watching me left bollocks by that. Is your left bollock slightly lower than the other one? Four years you were called Saki. Like it. <laughs> I might do a diagram of that one. Always. Always the spunk bubble. Always. Monastery. It's monastery? Yes. Why? Uh, his surname was Monkhouse. His surname was... <laughs> his surname was Monkhouse. Amazing. <laughs> These are some of my favourites. I think this gentleman was in Birmingham. He was a lovely, a very, a very, a very camp 18-year-old who was sitting in the front. And I went, what was your nickname? And he went, it is Gandhi still now. And I said, well, why are you called Gandhi? He goes, oh, because my name's Andy and I'm gay. And they just... <laughs> I think this was in Scotland. Uh, he'd had half of one of his ear bitten off in a fight. And I went, right, 18 months, why? He goes, oh, ear and half? Lovely. <laughs> In my opinion, the greatest nickname of all time, Mumbo. And the reason I think that is because he was fucked off still. He was about 45 and he was angry. Because I could him in the corner of my eye and his friends were going, go on, tell him yours, tell him yours. He's going, fuck off, fuck off. <laughs> I went, go on, mate, tell us. Only a bit of a laugh. And he goes, oh, fuck it, it was Mumbo, all right? And I went, OK, it's fine, it was a long time ago. Why were you called Mumbo? And this is how he said it. He goes, well, because apparently my mum's got B.O. <laughs> 